Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. And in this video, we will see what is method overriding and how it's different from method overloading. So in the last video, I have shown you how and what is polymorphism and how we can use it, right? So we have defined a super class, which we call it as a bank and it was having one method called get interest rate which returns the interest rate uh, of the bank okay and we have defined a subclass which we call it as bank abc which extends from bank class and let's uh, say for now it doesn't have anything so it doesn't have any implementation and now whenever we create the instance or uh, the object of class ABC using the reference of bank ABC or using the reference of bank class which is our super class then what happens let's see so it returns you zero right because here in the super class it ha has the method get interest rate and which returns zero and here there is no implementation of get interest rate right so whenever we define a reference which points to the object of the subclass which in our case this is bank abc and when we call this uh, get interest rate function it refers to this uh, function which is in the superclass right now for example we introduce a function which has the same name and same return type and same number of arguments as in base or super class okay so i have the same implementation in my subclass also the only difference is it's returning 5 and our super class was returning zero interest okay and now earlier the uh, the interest rate returns was zero and now when we run the program it returns five and this phenomena is called method overriding and method overriding is nothing but the changing of the implementation of the method okay so earlier the method which we were using for getting the interest was this one get interest rate from the base class but as soon as we introduce a new method in a subclass which is same and it's returning different uh, you know interest rate and we define the object of the subclass as a reference then you see it's uh, returning 5 right so your base class or your object will always take the latest or the most recent uh, method which is defined so this is the most recent method and it happened it's happening at the runtime that's why it's returning 5 so this is called method overriding now there are some uh, rules for method overriding the rule of method overriding is you must have same number of arguments same name and same return data type for overriding a method so for example this get, get interest method was returning integer and it doesn't take any argument in here also we have to uh, whenever we want to override the method which was there in the super class we have to define the integer return type and with no argument if we do it something like this int uh, for example this thing this will be called method overloading and this will not be called method overwriting so this uh, uh, takes us to uh, what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding right so generally method overloading we use in a same class 
right? So in this, if we want to do it, we can do it something like this and we can return int abc something like this okay and this two method are called the method overloading so this method is overloading our previous method right so this generally happens in the same class and whenever you do the method overloading this return type can be different the arguments can be different but the only same thing here is the method name so in method overloading only method name uh, should be same but you can change the return type or number of argument also S uh, but in the method overriding you cannot change the return type or the number of argument okay so this is the main difference between method overloading and method overriding so I hope you have understood the basic concept of map method overriding and what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding. Uh, so that's it for this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye.